You gonna be good? All right, come on, we're going this way. Now that Kaja is a little bit older, I wanna start introducing her to closer contact with the chickens. So I'm going to be bringing her into the area with the chickens on her leash on a regular basis and kind of see how that goes. Sit. Yes. All right. Here comes the chickens. I think she's nervous because she knows that she's technically not supposed to be back here. And I think she wants to eat all the chicken poop. <laughs> Kaja, come on. Let's do something other than eat chicken poop. Come on. This just feels so sketchy. Like, I'm just waiting for one of the chickens to like flap their wings and run off and then her like hunting instinct to kick in and she chases it down and grabs it. Well, I mean, she's on a leash, but. <laughs> It just seems like playing with fire. I mean, I know it's doable, but it just makes me nervous. Do we have to eat poop constantly? <laughs> I think the chickens are like, what are you eating over there? I'm really surprised at how the chickens are not afraid of her really. Hey, no, Nami. You monitoring the situation? But I guess it's just because she's had that shared fence line with them for so long that they're just kind of used to her. This is really going way better than I thought it would. I feel like it's pretty promising. And as soon as I say that, she'll reach out and bite a chicken. <laughs> Good job. Come on, puppy. Good girl. Good job. I'm gonna mulch the garden with the rest of the hay that we have out of that first test baling that we did. Now, I know it's not gonna be enough to do the whole garden because I'm mulching it super heavy because I'm trying to add as much organic matter to our clay soil as possible and I want to have that thick barrier to hold moisture in to let those seedlings get a better start. But there's a whole bunch more hay up there Glenn needs to get and hopefully real soon we'll have another baling. Glenn had got some more tomato cages to put around the rest of our tomatoes. I thought I would go ahead and put these on, but I think I'm gonna wait till later to see if these flies kind of die down some because you can't go for five seconds without these things biting you today. I'll be so glad in like, I don't know, about four weeks when these flies are done because what do they last, like four to six weeks for the worst of it? I wanna start collecting chicken poop to make chicken poo fertilizer tea. I really thought that I needed to come up with something to stick underneath the roost to catch all the droppings. But I think instead, I'm just gonna take the easy route and scoop all that straw out of the coop for 24 to 48 hours. And then I can just scoop up all that poo. Oh, we got three ladies laying in here. And one of the ladies is broody. Definitely confirmed because she has been sleeping in the box on her eggs at night. And at first I wasn't sure if I was going to let her be broody or not. But I've never had a broody chicken before, so I think I am going to let her sit. And I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with her and her clutch, but I think I'm just going to not intervene and let nature do its thing. Because I'm worried if I move her, it might disturb her and she might want to quit sitting on the eggs. And then I have to worry about reintegration of her and the babies. I don't really want to mess with that if I don't have to. So. I'm gonna try to not intervene and just let her do her thing and we'll see what happens. But I guess I'm just gonna wait till later to get that straw out of there because those two hens are in there laying and I always hate to disturb them when they're laying.
Man, it is nice out here now. It's a light breeze, and even though it's 80, it certainly don't feel like it. In fact, it almost feels like it might rain. But I'm gonna get these tomato cages on the rest of these tomatoes, and maybe with this breeze, those deer flies will be not too interested in me, so hopefully. Okay, all the tomatoes are done, and next year I have to remember to wait to put the tomato cages in till after it rains. The way this clay isn't so rock hard trying to get them to the soil. And down here, this little guy, if you can see him, he was a little seedling that I tossed out because I thought it was no good. And the next day I came out and it was still alive, just laying there. So I was like, huh, that's interesting. So I threw some dirt on its roots and it was like a few days later, it popped up and it was all healthy and everything. So I put a tomato cage around him because that is gonna be the lucky tomato, I guarantee it. So I was packing Glenn's food up for work and getting dinner started when I realized I didn't have any gas. So I came out and checked the smoker. I have a gas stove. So I came out and checked the smoker, no gas. It's a gas smoker. Well, Glenn was out here tilling, and that's when it occurred to me that he must have hit something. So I came out here, and sure enough, we saw a yellow line sticking up where he had hit a gas line. If you watched our videos last year, you know that we did gas line work last year. This is not part of that. Last year, we added gas lines going to our storage building and to our shed. But upon inspection, the main gas line from our gas well to the house looked like it was deep enough. We have a gas well on our property, we get free gas. But you might be asking yourself, well, how did something like this, how did this shallow gas line pass code inspection? Well, everything from the gas well to the house is on the homeowner. There's no code inspection. This one end of the garden, the gas line is too shallow. And now we don't have gas. A previous owner who installed all this underground stuff was very negligent, to say the least. Um, as you saw, if you saw our previous video where we pulled up the ele underground electricity, that was buried very shallow as well, and so shallow that a little kid with a little play shovel or something could have gotten into it, and it was in like this Tupperware box and all. It was just insane, truly negligent, and anybody in their right mind would not do this kind of thing. <sighs> it's been a day. All right, back to work. <laughs> Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of disguise. I thought it was worth a shot to try to go ahead and plant my sunflowers in this. Even though Glenn didn't get finished tilling it, I thought it was worth a go. But no, there's no way to plant my seeds in this. There's like no dirt to cover it up with. It's just giant pieces of hard clay. <laughs> I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me complain about this soil, but I'm complaining again. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. That's what I am. I'm tired been a very busy day. All right.